this is Joe. For today's recipe, here are our ingredients. I will be describing each one as I incorporate them to our recipe. I'm using avocado oil to saute our ingredients. What I'm trying to do is infuse the oil with the flavor and the aroma of all the ingredients. I will be taking them back out and then I'll use the infused oil to brown uh, the chicken breast. Now I will only be using half of the ingredients. Add the chicken breast in the infused oil and allow the meat to brown. Do not trust this process. Browning your meat ensures that the meat juices are trapped inside every piece of your cube chicken breast. Push the meat aside, then add the rest of your bell pepper. Saute it for a little while. Then add about three tablespoons of hoisin sauce and then about four to five tablespoons of oyster sauce. 
saute the ingredients very well and then incorporate all of the components that you have in the frying pan. Now add the rest of the pre-sauteed aromatics. One of the reasons why I did that is to infuse the oil with its flavor and aroma. But also, we want to keep the integrity of the vegetable so that it will be nice and crisp, yet tender and flavorful. Now go ahead and add your skin. It's very important that we continually stir frying the, all the components in order for the flavor to be well incorporated into our dish. Put the lid on for about 30 to 45 seconds. This will allow the vegetable, which is the zucchini, to kind of steam a little bit and release some of its juices. Now we don't want to boil the zucchini. We want to stir fry it, giving it a nice crisp texture. But we want some of that uh, moisture and by allowing it to steam for about 30 to 45 minutes, you'll accomplish that. Now here's another ingredient which you can add or you can eliminate. But when I stir fry, I love the flavor of sesame oil. I'm adding 2 to 3 teaspoons of sesame oil. You can add more or less according to your taste. Just fry a little longer for about 45 to a minute and your dish is done.